For those of you that came to see some Ohio action, the Ohio Valley Conference actually has zero teams from Ohio. But the Ohio River stretches a long way south and passes through several states. And I'm going to go ahead and assume that's what the Ohio Valley is named after. Anyway, I've already said the word Ohio too many times, let's just get into the stadiums. Forterra Stadium, Austin P. Governors. I was going to say that I'm not a fan of team names like the Senators or the Governors, but then I saw the mascot has a mustache, monocle and top hat, and so that's all good. He's more of a suave and sophisticated sort of governor, but you wouldn't want to cross him. Not only is his face on the field, but also on the windows of the exterior. Speaking of which, is a rather nice modern exterior, the main stand at least, which is something you don't see too often in the FCS. The stadium is quite simple, but very well put together. Graham Stadium, UT Martin Skyhawks. Unlike the last one, this one doesn't have a naming rights sponsor. But I can think of one product that would have a golden opportunity to sponsor Graham Stadium. This is another fairly simple, but very well designed stadium. The stands both have brick facades, which I always much prefer to see rather than an exposed steel frame. And after being renovated a few years ago, the press boxes are looking rather nice with their floor to ceiling windows. The stadium also has a decent amount of chair back seats. What more could you want? Hawk Stadium, Southeast Missouri State Redhawks. Firstly, I love the arches on the exterior of the main stand, a timeless aesthetic, as well as the plentiful trees on the other side that are almost encroaching onto the field. To the west, some people don't even have to leave their room to watch the game. That's a residence hall. But even those from out of town can keep warm and comfortable at the game. It's one of the only stadiums where you can watch the game without getting out of your car. A common sight at a country footy ground in Australia, but not so much college football for obvious reasons. Man, it's an impressive conference so far. Nissan Stadium. Tennessee State Tigers. Just in case you somehow stumbled upon this video and you don't know too much about American football, the Tennessee State Tigers are not the primary tenant here. It's an NFL stadium. Although they have been here since it opened in 99. They typically don't come close to selling it out, but due to the large capacity and the prime downtown location, it does allow them to have one of the highest average attendances in the FCS at well over 20,000. I wonder if they would trade the world-class amenities for a smaller and simpler on-campus stadium. Clearly not, because they do have one and they still play here. O'Brien Field, Eastern Illinois Panthers. This is perhaps the most bare-bones stadium we've seen so far. Doesn't mean it's bad though. I do like that they've added these, uh, are they hedges? Not sure. But it just adds a nice classy touch. Also, I know in this day and age, colour doesn't matter, but if you are going to have a track around the field, blue just looks that little bit better. Also, it's the team's colours, so win-win. Roy Stewart Stadium, Murray State Races. Hate to mention the parking once again, but from the bird's eye view, it looks like a grandstand. There is, however, only one grandstand, and it's rather large. I say there's only one, but there is sort of a stand within the main stand consisting entirely of chairback seats. Overall, there is a lot of concrete on the inside and out, and so it's a bit monochromatic. But I like how they've enclosed the stadium with these walls. It just makes the stadium that little bit more cozy. It's kind of like a less extreme version of this stadium in Mexico. Tucker Stadium, Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles. We end with a fairly conventional, very symmetrical design. I do quite like when you can see the campus buildings from within the stadium. And these ones are rather nice. I think the nearest one is a library. Surprisingly, rather than matching those buildings, the stands here have an all-white exterior. It still looks fine, and it's a solid stadium overall. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.